All right, my people, welcome back to Critics News with more update on us. Take the good dose of now whenever you follow us on our social media handles. What are you waiting for? We are on Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook, bringing you back-to-back -back update on waiting to happen. Now, um, the information reaching us says that um, <clears throat> that uh, some of, uh, some of the unknown government terrorizing Anambra State, according to the statement, um, that they have been neutralized by members of the Eastern Security Network. Um, there, there has been um, different reports concerning this particular incident, which is the video I showed you guys earlier, where um, a convoy was passing and they were carrying dead bodies. Okay, so I just want to clarify uh, for people who has been asking who were they carrying, what was the offense, who are they, were they a bubago, were they this one, that one, and I don't know. To be honest with you but we are going to find out from this um right up there has been different uh, reports concerning this uh, particular issue here um where do i stand okay where do i start okay now let me take this uh let me go to sarah reporters and i will tell you what um they have here what they said happened on that um issue now, uh, according to the Sahara reporters, they say criminal gang leader Double Lion killed as two violent group groups clash in Anambra. This is coming from Sahara reporters, but from this uh, this man here, um, okay, you can see the name. Breaking news: They say ESN has neutralized Double Lion, um, and according to them, they say that he is working for Samanekpa and Nelly of Ebu. Nella of Ebu even ordered him in a video a few weeks ago during her program with Insima, we will not allow Nigerian government agent to destroy our land. So this is, I don't know how we have gotten to this level. Um, they, they are, we, I don't know whether Nelly of Ebu, Abina Samon whichever gang or a private gang as well. Um, According to this guy here, he's accusing Simon Ekpa of being behind that double lion. Because I think I've heard Nelly of Ebu mention that double lion on one of her programs. I think I've heard something like that before. All right. So um, let's see what happened here. According to This is according to Sarah Reporters. But when you go to um, Premium Times, you are going to see... Uh, you're going to see five killed in Anambra's gunmen, IPOB members clash. So it's a different ball game altogether. People are reporting different things. And with the statement from this guy, it shows maybe it's ESN. That shows you that ESN is not on non gunmen. But let me, let's see, let's see, let's see what Sarah reporters. The leader of a criminal gang terrorizing Anambra State, Lion Group known as Double Lion, has been killed. The State Police Public Relations Officer Ikenga Tochuku, who confirmed the killing of the terror gang leader, said he was neutralized by another rival criminal gang that also terrorizes the state. Now, I want to let you know something here. That he who betrays his brother, that even the, the buyer will not trust you. Look at the statement coming from... Um, from the police here look at the statement coming from the police here the state police public relations officer okay ikenga tochuku who confirmed the killing of the terror gang leader said he was neutralized by another rival criminal gang that also terrorizes the state so which means that they are also calling esn a terror group here so the fact that you have killed uh, double lion in the name of ESN, that's what we have been getting, that's what we are hearing, um, hasn't exonerated you from the hands of the Nigerian police. You think, say, you day wise, you don't kill them, then <laughs> you think, say, police will now say, oh, kudos to IPOV and the ESN, they don't help us kill the criminals. They still see you all as the same people. And that is why whatever you do, you must be careful. You must know how to tackle issues. We are just washing our dirty linens outside for the public to see. And it's quite unfortunate. 
Now, in continuation with here from Sahara, they say Sahara reporters gathered that the incident took place during a burial ceremony in the Ihiala area of the state on Friday. It was gathered that the two rival group or the two rival gunmen had been terrorizing Okija. This, listen, listen to what I'm telling you here. Ozubolo, Oraifite, Upo, and Isheke, and we are responsible for several killings and abductions outside the ones carried out by Fulani militias. A viral video seen by Sahara reporters on Saturday shows that the government had stormed the burial ceremony on the claims that they were not settled, given money before the event. So this is, I, don't, I told you people before that some people has taken it upon themselves to make life miserable for um, our people in the name of, you know, they are tarnishing the name of ESN. And that is what this kind of group of people are doing by going to collect money from and people who are doing barrier. On a no settle us, on a no settle. Settle you for what? Eh? Settle you for what? What kind of nonsense will this one save? Eh? Hey! According to this story, they said the unknown government were, however, ambushed by the Hiala security outfit already stationed in and around the burial area. In the ensuing gun battle, in the um, ensuing gun battle, so many casualties were reportedly recorded on the part of the unknown gunmen. They started shooting without knowing that security men had been stationed at all the entrances, so they took the battle to them in all directions, and there was no way to escape. There were, there were mass casualties against the unknown gunmen, a voice in the video was heard saying. Some other sources were reported to have said that when the shooting became so intense, backups were mobilized from neighboring Okija and the Amoka security outfit, who reportedly joined the reinforcement. The voice note further pointed out that the gunmen were not members of the Eastern Security Network, ESN, as there was nothing to show they were their members. But somebody now from um, the DOS and IPOB is claiming that they are ESN. There is so much confusion in what uh, this, uh, this movement is carrying. There is so much confusion. So much confusion. People are so confused. People are so confused. Look at what this man is writing. Now, I'm going to show you now. Is that how the uh, ESN operates? This man who posted this thing, I want to ask you a question. Lion man, lioni. Is this how ESN operates with these motos? You see? This is it. He said, breaking news, ESN has neutralized double lion. He's working for Simon Ekpa and Nelly of Ebu. Nelly of Ebu even ordered him in a new, in a video a few weeks ago during her program with Insima. This is what he wrote here. So, but I don't think that these people are ESN. Now, the, the, the report here is saying that they are not ESN. So, that's why somehow I like Sarah reporters. <laughs> Bill, I say they don't call people or people have sent them the audio. I don't have the audio. Uh, maybe I should have, you know, played it to hear um, myself what really happened. Now, in continuation, they said the voice note further pointed out that the gunmen were not here. The people who were on ground are saying that they are not. But in order to indict maybe Nelly of Ebu or Simon Epa because you don't agree with them, you have claimed responsibility for, uh, for, 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 <laughs> for ESN. You have claimed responsibility that the people who killed the double lion and his gang are ESM members. So I'm going to repeat this video again so you guys will see and then see whether na so ESM where will they talk about say then they bush they chase terrorists whether na them or not. No na they wait. Okay. Now they say some other sources we are reported to have said that when the shooting became okay we have uh, talked about that. 
Now, they have been operating in the name of ESM, but they are not, the voice said. Confirming the incident, the spokesman for the Anambra Police Command, Tochuku, said the police were not involved, adding that the two groups were criminal gangs that has been terrorizing the state. So, I don't know. The people who are claiming responsibility for the for that claiming that ESN was responsible for the neutralization of uh, lion man. I be no, sorry, <laughs> for double lion. It still sounds like this name, sha. Uh -huh. For double lion, say na they are ESN they operate. Una never even una una just the emission. Una just the talk rubbish. Una just the implicate on herself up and down. Una no even they straightforward. You don't even know how to present matters to the public. You don't even know. Now don't rush. Hey, now he is a killer. But the people on ground are saying that the people are not ESN. They are another group of people. In continuation, they have been operating in the name of ESN, but they are not. The PPRO said the information is that two, two rival criminal gangs were fighting, of course, recently. The state has been having security problems, especially as it regards attack on ceremonies and government infrastructure. And our men, we are deployed and we are strategically involving, strategi in, um, involving on strategies to address these security issues as they emerge. So what happened yesterday, Friday, according to information before me, is that two rivalry criminal gangs had a clash in Ihiala, which resulted in one of them neutralizing the gang leader of another, popularly known as Double Lion, who held a group called Lion Group that has been terrorizing the state. According to eyewitness, the shooting was between the Lion Group and another group. He didn't mention their name. And before our men got there, the groups, the groups had already left the scene. And the lion group had made away with the corpse of their leader. But the situation is under control now because our men have been intense in, uh, intensively be, uh, doing patrol there to ensure peace. There is no ar arrest made so far, he added. So that is the part of uh, Sahara Reporter. Sorry, I'm going to talk about this later. But uh, let me, uh, do I still have it here? Yeah. Look at them. Um, this one is from Premium Times. Look at their own. Five killed in Anambra as gunmen, IPOB members clash. So this is their own report here. Let's see what they said concerning this thing because I, did, I really wanted to, you know, find out what happened. You know, when I first showed the video, I, I told you guys that we are still investigating. Now the whole thing is coming out. The bubble is popping out. Five killed in Anambra as IPOB ESN members clash with a, a another group five gunmen have been killed during a shootout with suspected members of outlawed indigenous people of biafra ipob in our oka community here the local government area of anambra state the incident happened on friday the government and the ipob members were said to have engaged in a battle over control of the area the IPOB members reportedly killed five of the gunmen who they accused of terrorizing residents of the council area. A video circulating on social media showed the IPOB members in a long convoy heading to an unknown destination with some bodies, said to have been five slain gunmen in one of their trucks. They were seen in a clip shooting in the air amidst cheers from some residents who were standing by. When contacted, the police spokesperson in the state, Tochukui Kunga, confirmed the incident. He said only four of the gunmen were killed during the shootout with the suspected ESN members. He said one of the victims was a gang leader who had been on the police wanted list for his involvement in the attacks on police and military facilities in the state. The violent clash ensued, ensued between the two criminal gangs and further details confirm the killing of uh, one innocent who be AK, aka Double Lion and three others, Mr. Ikenga said. Double Lion has been on the police wanted list 
and has featured in attacks on police formations, military locations, and other government infrastructure, he added. Mr. Ikenga said, following the viral video clip of the group, the police in the state have deployed operatives in Ihiala area and its environs and also intensified patrol to avoid to avert breakdown of law and order uh, by any thorough groups. The situation is being monitored, he assured. Worsening insecurity, like other states in the southeast, security in Anambra state has worsened lately with frequent attacks by armed persons. The attacks, which often target security agencies, government officials, and facilities, have been blamed on IPOB, but the group has repeatedly denied their involvement in the attacks. The separatist group is leading agitation for the independence of the um, Republic of Biafra to be carved out, carved out from Nigeria and some parts of South South and um, Southeast and South South. Leader of the secessionist group Nam De Kanu is currently being detained in Abuja, where he is facing tri trial for treason, felony, and all the rest of it. So this is how this information has been. So I'm going to play you the video again. Uh, of course, we have seen it. So the people who watched the previous video um, have seen, but I want to play for people who didn't watch that one, but would prefer to watch this one, maybe because of the title. Okay, water. So let's let's see, let's see, let's see the video. I'm gonna remove the volume because they were shooting in the air because of due to YouTube policies and all that. So here is the video why they were moving. Okay, you can see. So I don't know whether to zoom self. I can zoom in a little bit. So the person who made this video was uh, sitting on upstairs. You can see. So is this ESN that this man is writing that they are ESN? This must be the same unknown government. So you. It all happened in uh, Anambra State. I didn't even know where it was until now. I thought it was Imo. But the thing now is getting out of hand. So um, let me know. Let me know. Let me leave the judgment for you. Please, I would like to get your opinion on this. But that's not the attire or the dressing code of Eastern Security Network. I need clarifications. Please drop your comments below and let us know what you think about it. I'll be right back in a jiffy with more updates. Thank you.